Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to film a really quick video talking about whether sugar gliders can be cuddly pets. I often see these guys on a lot of people's lists of pets that they never want to own. And I do agree that they aren't the best pet for a lot of people, but I think that there's a lot of misconceptions about them. And one of them is the fact that they're always crazy and really don't enjoy being held or cuddled. So as you can see, that is not true for all gliders. This particular Joey was given to me from a breeder and she worked with him every single day to get him so tame. We picked him particularly for his temperament. I didn't care like what coloring he was. And yeah, he's just been so sweet and so tame. All of my gliders do enjoy cuddles from time to time. They don't enjoy cuddles every single day at every single moment. And neither does he, but there are a lot of times where they're just sleepy and they slow down and they love to be cuddled and pet. With a lot of other small pets, even my rabbits, who are very bonded to me and very intelligent, your interactions are pretty limited and you're only able to do interactions based on their terms. I'd say some exceptions to this in small pets I've seen are rats who can be very bonded, but sugar gliders are also a big exception to this. They're really like a dog in that you can kind of do anything you want to them and they're pretty tolerant, especially again after the bonding process. A glider's temperament does depend a lot on how they were socialized as joeys, but if you are getting gliders as rehomes, you can still work with them and get them tame and bonded. Before they're bonded, they have really intimidating crabbing noise and they are pretty ferocious and can draw blood. So I think a lot of people don't ever get past the bonding process with their sugar gliders because they impulse buy them from bad breeders or they get them as older gliders, as rehomes, and they don't put in the effort. Uh-oh. Who's fighting with who? Who's fighting with who? <laughs> but as I was saying, there's just a lot of people who I think don't actually have gliders that are bonded to them. And because they've had a terrible experience, I just feel like that information gets spread. When really, these guys are super sweet pets. They really can be cuddly. And they really aren't comparable to any other rodents or anything like that. Because I think they're more like a dog in the way that they bond to you. They're highly social animals and they're used to living in big colonies and I feel like they just have such a big heart and once you're able to earn their trust, it's very hard to lose it and they're just very trusting of people and they enjoy being with their humans. This is very different than many other small pets like hamsters who are solitary mostly in nature and they don't really need any type of companionship and other pets like gerbils and mice who are very social are social amongst themselves and they don't really seem to bond with humans as closely. Some exceptions with these would be male mice who are housed alone because they are highly social. They tend to get the extra companionship from females and rats also seem to be an exception just from what I've seen because they also seem to bond very closely with humans. One thing that's really sad is a lot of people think that gliders will only bond to you so closely if you have them as a single glider and that's just not true. He's in a colony with four other gliders, so he has tons of social interaction. He doesn't need me at all, but once you form the bond with them, they really do enjoy being with you. I think it's cruel to deprive them of any other social contact just because you think it'll make them love you more. And if anything, he's so comfortable with me and he bonded with me so quickly because there were other gliders and he was able to see that no one else was scared of me. So even from day one, he was never scared and he never crapped. Like I was saying before, you don't have to get gliders as joeys in order for them to be so social. I got him at almost six months old. He's just still really young, but definitely not an eight or 12 week old joey. I have other gliders that I got as rehomes at one or two years, and they're still super friendly as long as you bond with them. Gliders are individuals and their temperament does vary a lot. And honestly, if you want a super social joey like this, it's important that you talk to your breeder and you find one that's a really good pairing. I do have some others that are bonded to me and I have one that isn't bonded to me, but I have some that are bonded to me and they tolerate me, but they just don't enjoy my attention as much. When you are getting into exotic animals though, you shouldn't be expecting what you're expecting from a dog. A lot of people think that dogs are the way they are because they're domestic, but a lot of animals are domesticated and aren't like dogs. Dogs are just really unique and special. Like dogs, for example, really enjoy and crave human interaction. Um, I think gliders can crave it as well, but 
something like being pet is something that most gliders don't enjoy. He'll tolerate it because he likes me and he wants my attention, but there's definitely things he'd enjoy more. This is one of my other gliders. I got him as a rehome. He is a little bit more skittish, but as you can see, he doesn't mind being pet or cuddled. There's a glider who is not bonded to me. As soon as he sees me, he will run. Hi. <clears throat> if you're interested in getting sugar gliders, they are super sweet pets, but they do have really specialized care requirements. I wouldn't say that it's difficult. It's just, like I said, very specialized and that it's very different from most other animals. So make sure you're doing research. It's also hard because there's a lot more misinformation and there's a lot more controversy. The absolute best place to learn about sugar gliders is on Facebook groups. But I do have a few sugar glider care videos. I'm hoping to get more up because, like I said, there are so many misconceptions. But even so, sugar glider care is changing every single day. And there's so many new things that people are figuring out. So always be open-minded and always be doing the most current and up-to-date research. Even videos that are just one or two years old can become outdated really quickly. Because they're so new to the pet trade and people are learning new things every single day. This is another one of my rehome gliders. He's also super sweet. Um, he's also super tiny. So yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on how sweet sugar gliders can be. I think a lot of people, again, are just spreading a lot of misinformation because they haven't bonded to sugar gliders. If you have sugar gliders that aren't bonded to you, they're a pain in the butt, they will crab, they will make noise, they will run away from you, they will bite and draw blood. And the bonding process can seem long and intimidating, but once it's done, it's definitely worth it. As you can see, they're not aggressive by nature. You can definitely stick your hand in their pouch and not worry about getting bit. Once they're bonded to you, I never hear them crab, and I never even worry about getting bit, even if I'm being super annoying and am manhandling them. Look, you can manhandle them, and they don't really care. As you can see, even gliders you got as rehomes who aren't, super bonded to you can still be very tolerant of humans he never really seeks out my attention but if i'm in a good place and i'm a good play toy he will definitely enjoy climbing on me also when your gliders aren't being cute and cuddly they love to explore and always find a way to get themselves in trouble so you're really not missing out oh and just to emphasize the fact that age really doesn't make a difference i got this guy at three months old and he's just super sporadic and chaotic. Excuse me, can you please show yourself? He loves exploring and he's adorable to watch, but he is still not very bonded to me. He doesn't crab at me, but if I try to go in there and grab him, he is not a happy camper. We're still working through the bonding process. I definitely wouldn't say this is his final personality, but as you can just see compared to this guy, <laughs> he is super unsure of everything which is also really fun i think all the glider personalities are really interesting to have and if everyone was like him that would be really boring and if everyone was like <laughs> him that would also be really boring